Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Starting the day off here at Clement Skate Park. Just warming up in the morning. It is empty again, which is sick. I'm gonna take like a quick little warm up lap. there's kind of like a beginner line super easy nice to warm up with it's actually like the first line that I've ever like done at a park um, so I'm kind of proud of it I know it's like super easy super flowy but um, yeah just a sick way for me to come here and warm up especially when there's no one else here one of my most favorite things to do here is air out of this little taco just because Every time I would come to the skate park and see people doing that, I would always wish that I had enough skill to be able to air out of it. And it just looks super fun. And then just being able to do tiny airs out of it, dude, it feels so cool. So I'm gonna do that a few times. So since doing the flyouts is my favorite thing to do, I have a couple extra skateboards in my car, so I'm gonna see if I can fly out over a stack of two skateboards. Of course, I'll start with one first, but hopefully make my way to two. doing one time to move to two Consistently landing two decks feels super sick. I freaking love the feeling of being in the air and landing. It's freaking so fun. I'm gonna head over to another skate park so I can work on the flat bar rail so I can get that more consistent. So let's head over there right now. Just rolling up to the second stop of the day. This tiny little neighborhood park. And it's never crowded probably because it sucks. And it's so small but this is the little flat bar where I learned how to do board slides yeah I just want to learn how to like slide the whole bar be super consistent with my board slides and be able to ride off of the rail every single time so I'm gonna practice that a little bit and then check out the other features here and see if I can have fun on something with my beginner skill level cool
So we got this tiny little box here. It's like, like thigh high and then maybe three feet across. I've always wanted to air over this. I've been practicing my ollies. I can't really land down transition. It's freaking scary because you're like up in the air and then you're coming down like a little more further than like flat. And just thinking of the board landing at like this angle instead of like flat is super scary. I'm gonna practice ollieing up this and landing flat and then riding out of it a few times and just see how comfortable I get, see if I can work the balls up to try to air the whole thing. drop right in front of you super fast. I gotta practice that a lot more. I'm gonna do it right now and see if I can get comfortable enough to try to land down the transition. Oh, so scary to even think of. To, to build up the balls, but this run up is so short. I'm not sure that I can get enough speed with my skill level to be able to pull it off. But I guess I'll just try a few more times and then, I mean, call it a session because I overcame the fear of thinking about doing that trick. So I'm like halfway there. I got the fear gone. Now I just need to build up more confidence and a little more speed. And I think I can pull it off. legs are getting super tired that's probably when you should call it a session because if you go beyond that you start making mistakes get hurt I had a couple tries that I felt like were really close I'm gonna cue those up right now super close I feel like my front wheels were just getting over the, the edge here and my back wheels were almost making it so I was like literally super close I think after a couple more sessions, I'll have it. said once you're tired you need to stop every time I wipe out and it freaking hurts I play the footage back and it looks like a super soft wipeout 
but that wipeout right there I freaking like took it all to the shoulder this elbow has been messed up for months with tendonitis I felt it in my wrist that's been broken and trying to healing trying to be healing it just hurts t like 10 times more than the, the clip looks like it hurts but basically you know I like pretty much body slammed this side of my body and I always do that every time I fall <sighs> that sucked you guys know what time it is after that slam time for a little pain relief what I like to do after sessions especially when I wipe out is I'll take this stuff this stuff has uh this is the just a regular pain relief gel and it has arnica in it which is super good for healing so I take some of it I have this little roller I do a couple squirts on the the roller here and then I'll massage it into whatever is hurting which sometimes might be your whole body especially when you get to be my age <laughs> never thought I would say that get it nice and massaged in and then this stuff has menthol in it too so it has that like tingle cooling effect that takes pain away and it works super awesome if you guys want to pick some up use the link in my bio use code mauer oh there's a wasp use code mauer at checkout you'll get 20 percent off and free shipping get out of here Oh, that's a honeybee. And then I love the feel of the menthol tingle, so I always put quite a bit on. As you guys know, I am a surfer living in Colorado. Wish I could surf a lot more. So I just recently started picking up skating at skate parks to kind of keep me in shape for surfing, keep me comfortable on a board. It's super fun. I love landing new tricks. Um, I'm super psyched on it right now, but it does have me wondering, how good can a skateboarder starting in their 30s get, and how many slams can you take before you have to quit? Every single week when I put out a new vlog, I'll be pushing myself to see how good I can get and what tricks I can land, trying to land new tricks every single week. So if you guys want to follow along the journey, I would really appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Please share this channel with somebody that you think would like it as well. And if you see me at the skate park, say what's up. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you on next week's vlog.